This is day 86 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. I'm currently rated 1720 and I'm versing someone rated 1736. This is the birds opening. Um, so I don't really play this that often, but usually when I play something that's kind of unfamiliar, I just uh, fian kettle my bishop and push uh, d6 just to get like my bishop out. And then my next move will probably be just developing my knight pushing uh, h6 stopping his uh his knight from jumping here it looks like he's gonna try and um open up his rook file to me that's kind of what it looks like so i'm not sure exactly how he's gonna do that but i feel like he's gonna start pushing uh these pawns very soon my biggest weakness is this bishop um it's not really doing too well but i'll just move it up one square and uh probably push e5 to guard more squares and then reroute my knights and then try and push f5 so yeah he's he's obviously trying to oh, like push these pawns i don't know which one he's gonna push um okay looks like he might he might even push all his pawns um but I'll, i will start off with i think f5 is a good move and taking with my uh taking with my e pawn and then moving my king over one square is very important because uh if I don't do that, then he'll have, but he decides to push. So I did see this and I was thinking of not taking because it kind of just looks like he gets his rook file opened. Uh, yeah, so I'd rather just not take that. My pawn structure is a little weak, but I think it's much safer. And uh, now I'm just actually just going to slide my king over one square just so that in the future it doesn't, doesn't mess up my position. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's probably just going to, I think he might slide his king over and then try and push these pawns. Um, but maybe he has a different playing style and he just likes to um, develop his other pieces. I could push this pawn. He takes, I take, I guess his bishop could take, but that just looks uh, kind of too risky. I'm also thinking of rerouting my knight and uh, I'm not really sure where it would go though. So that's... There's not many squares that it could uh, it could jump to. Even rerouting it to g8 wouldn't do anything because it can't even jump to f6. So I'll have to take a moment to think here. After taking some time to think, um, I have came to the, to the conclusion that this pawn is too weak here. And uh, I need to reroute my bishop defending these pawns. And then I might actually push... Uh... Okay, so he starts off with the attack. I think doing this attack with his king not uh, over one square is kind of wrong, but... Maybe uh, it just looks kind of too fast. But if I take this, it looks like he might take with the other pawn. Not really sure though. Um, taking looks, I, I wanna say this is the best move, but it's, it's kind of hard for me to play this. Yeah, I'll, I'll take. I just don't really like how, uh, if I don't take, then it looks like he'll take and it just kind of looks wrong. But he decides to take with the knight. Um, I'm think so the very first move I think of is to attack his attack his knight. He can't like jump here. He can't go here. He can't go here. So he'll probably just have to go back somewhere. Um, but I'm not really sure what I'd play after that. I usually don't allow my opponents to have kind of their knight just occupying squares in my position, even if it's not really a threat. Uh, I think just it's a rule of thumb just not to allow your opponent to just occupy squares in your position. So I will just not not allow his knight to be here. And then I'm thinking of just moving my queen up one square and then uh, just developing this rook somewhere. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe d8 is better. I'll, I'm still put, thinking about pushing a6, but I don't really feel the need to do that right now. Okay, he moves his knight back. Um, the very first move I think of is just like pushing this pawn. Um, and if he takes, take with my knight, but that actually doesn't work because uh, his bishop's here. So then now I'm kind of thinking of moving my bishop, trying to open up the g-file because his king isn't castled, and then maybe trying to push. Um, so I'll try that. He's probably going to move his king over and move his rook. Okay, he moves his rook. I think I probably have to. Going here looks dangerous, though, because my king is... Uh, it's not that bad, though, because I can just rewrote my bishop if I have to, but guarding this pawn more seems very important he's probably going to move his queen putting more pressure onto this pawn i would think or or he go he uh he can go there i think he's trying to he's trying to create some type of threat here it looks crazy but this rook needs to be there guarding this knight 
Um, and then I might move, I'm, I, I still want to push this pawn. I'm not really sure how to. It still doesn't work, I don't think, because his rook is here. Like I push, his pawn takes, I take with my knight. Um, his knight takes, I take, bishop takes, and then his rook defends. So I, I can't even, I can't push the pawn. But maybe I can move my queen up one square and get this rook here and then push the pawn. Okay, my opponent starts an attack on the queen side. I don't really think that's a good move because I was actually thinking of just rerouting my knight. That move seems kind of, kind of, I don't know, I'm just wrong. Um, I don't really want to move my queen here now because if he attacks my knight, then my knight can jump here. So I'm thinking of maybe maneuvering my knight and then pushing the c c6 in the future kind of guarding these pawns better and i think that, i think that looks fine i'll just i'll just do that um i, I won't probably put my knight there now because it looks it looks kind of too it looks almost too fast for me to put my knight there because he might just take and then there could be some weaknesses so if i maneuver my knight um okay he finally moves his king i would say that's probably that's probably a good move but if I were maneuver my knight to f5 and he takes, I wouldn't really want to take with this pawn because this pawn looks incredibly weak. But then again, if I take with the e pawn, then um, then that just looks horrible. So putting my knight here now looks kind of wrong. Um, maneuvering my knight to g8, that really that <laughs> my king would have no would have no moves. It's not that crazy though, because because I'm I'm trying to move my queen into the game, because I don't I don't really want to move my queen to d7. It's kind of blocked in by the pawn here, but I might have to just get get this other rook, because his bishop is uh it's not really even developed. It's doing a, a good job, but you know his rook it would, it would be much better if his rook was here. So, um, yeah, I'm just thinking of uh, if I should maneuver my knight or put my queen on d7. I'll just play it safe though. Um, just developing my queen, getting my other rook into the game. My king looks kind of... it's not really ideal to have your pieces all tangled up here, but it's better than th them not being around your king, I think. Uh, okay, so he finally plays this move. Oh, if I take with my my knight, then my bishop seems to be trapped, but um, I think the obvious move would be just to take that with my bishop and uh and i think that looks fine so i'm, I'm just gonna do that um so now now instead of putting my rook on g8 uh i'm thinking of putting my rook on f8 because uh it's this file's kind of open here i'm also st still thinking of uh rerouting my knight actually i'll i'll reroute my knight Okay, I may have made a mistake. I forgot that this pawn, his queen's putting pressure onto this pawn. So if he takes this, I might have to take with the e pawn, which I wasn't really. I was planning on taking with the uh, with the g pawn, but after his queen. Oh wait, wait a minute. His, my bishop defends this. So if my opponent takes this, I'm able to take with the g pawn because my bishop defends this pawn over here. But he plays it differently, um, moving his rook to the more open square. Uh, isn't that just a fork? Uh, yeah. So check, and his queen is, uh, his queen's lost. So that is nice. I've beat a 1700. It's great. Uh, he moves his king, so I'll just take his queen with check. And, uh, probably, probably just maneuvering, uh, my other rook into the game. If he goes here, then I'll just move my bishop, and if he takes, I can take with my knight. Just trading off all the pieces because now I'm up I'm up by six points of material so I think just uh, just trading off all the pieces as fast as possible so I'll just go here my knight defends this and uh, if he doesn't take then I'll just take okay um, I'll take that and uh, it is a little annoying but I should be completely fine. I wouldn't really want to move my rook here because it looks like he'll just take this pawn. So I'm kind of thinking of... Uh, I'll just uh, move my rook in front of my king, guarding this file more. My bishop still defends this pawn. And then I might I might actually give up this pawn over here, or maybe 
create some uh, type of attack because these these pawns are kind of annoying. I want my queen to have this check in the future. Okay, so bishop is putting pressure here. If I were to give up the pawn, it just doesn't really it doesn't really work yet. But if I were to go here and then he takes, yeah, um, I'm just gonna give up a pawn here because uh, my queen should be able to attack it pretty easily. So for example, he takes like a he takes, I take, he takes, and then I'm threatening uh, the check. So maybe he'll go and guard the pawn. It just looks it just looks good because I'm up I'm up eight points of material so he's not gonna have a, a easy time guarding everything. I will uh, I'll just take this pawn and I'll uh, attack his bishop. Maybe he will uh, move his rook. Um, if I were to go here, actually I'll just uh, I'll just. Oh, I guess his bishop can take. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Uh, I'll just allow his bishop to take then. I <laughs> guess I'm up. I'm up so much material that it really just doesn't matter. And if he if he just takes this, I'll just sack. Uh, and uh, just basically just trade off as much material as fast as possible. Okay, he he maneuvers his knight. I will. Uh, I'll sacrifice so that. Uh, my pieces are able to get into the game and uh, this pawn is hanging I will take that pawn if he doesn't defend it his knight kind of does get into the position um, I, I mean I'll just have to I'll have to uh, actually I guess I can't really take the pawn because he has check actually I'm I'm up by so much material that I think I can I just have to be careful because these past pawns are kind of dangerous. So I might have to I might have to sacrifice my bishop. But I'm still I'm literally still up by like I'll be up by like five or four points of material. So knight takes, he pushes this pawn, I bring my bishop back. Okay, instead he gives me a different check. So if I were to go here, that does look kind of dangerous, but I would be able to then take his this pawn. So I'll go here. Um he does have this check, but I can just take this. I will, uh, I'll have to go here. I'm running out of time, but I can't allow him to give, get this check in. I am now, so his, he, he is able to take that, but um, I can just sack my bishop and it's it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'll just sack and then probably just uh, maneuver, putting my, uh, actually, I'll just go here instead. I don't really want to uh, move my rook because this king is incredibly weak, so. I'll try. Uh, I'll try pushing this pawn, and then maybe I'll move my rook to then push the pawn. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just go here now, or maybe I'll just take this pawn over here, and then uh, I'll move move this rook over here, and then push this pawn as well. And if he takes this, then I'll sack my I'll sack my rook. Okay, he plays it differently. Um, so yeah, I'm threatening this check, and I'm threatening uh, pushing. Um, and then, uh, and then just promoting. So he's able to take this pawn, but obviously I'll just go and then he could sack. I'll take. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry that this is taking me so long. <laughs> I play this, I play the absolutely the slowest possible moves. Um, I could checkmate with a rook and king, but I'm not going to do that. I'll just uh, I'll just promote. It's much easier. I'll just go and promote to another another queen. A good move back for him would be not to take this pawn because there's a higher chance of stalemate. But um, he takes it. Now I'll just checkmate him. I played with an 84.7% accuracy. My opponent played with an 80.9% accuracy. So for the start of the game, my opponent was winning by like two, sometimes three points uh, of material positionally. 
but then they just basically made one uh, one blunder, and that was this that was this check, and uh, I decided to basically like start sacrificing all of my material for some reason. So sacrifice my queen, um, sacrifice my uh, rook, and uh, sacrifice my rook again. <laughs> <laughs> sacrifice my bishop my rating is now 1728 percentile 99.4 and a high of 1901 thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video